Back. Mm -hmm. You're watching uh, Liquid Lunch on Newsmax TV. I'm John Tobacco. We're coming to you live as we do every single day, Monday to Friday, noon to 2 Eastern. We're in the Question Tequila Studios. Our friends down at Iconic Brands sent us even more good spirit to the studio today with some Hooters Heat and Chaz Palminteri's Vodka. And to celebrate having supermodel Carol Alt in the studio today, we even have Christy Brinkley's Prosecco Bellissima. <laughs> so uh, it's a wonderful day, and it's even more wonderful when we're joined in the studio by my great friend and woman extraordinaire, Martha Benetta, who's going to join us for most of the show Thank today. you so much Hello, for having Martha. me. Your studio is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. We're working on it little mm -hmm. by little. You mm -hmm. know, we're trying to piece it together. You know I have an unbelievable team yes. here, Martha. Yes. You've interacted with all of them. and Rock star team. I just come in and yell and scream and mm -hmm. tell them to do the opposite of what they're doing and usually works out their way, but it's going good. My brother joined us now, so Very he's helping. Very nice. So um, Frankie's over in his own zone now, in his own man cave, you yes, see over there. He's, he's, like, he's the like where you, sit, where you sit when you're in trouble. Exactly. No. And, and yeah, trouble? I'm just waiting for the dunce cap. That's like the naughty, <laughs> that's that's the naughty oh, seat right. over there. Oh, that's right. Oh, well, they know me well around here, clearly. <laughs> I got yelled at for our, by our boss yesterday for inappropriate uh, use of terminology. Uh, it wasn't a red letter word, mm -hmm. um, but it could be construed incorrectly. And, you know, me and Frankie are really la learning the standards and protocols and, and all mm -hmm. that good stuff. Um, and I break them all the time, you know, Mark. Yes, yes. So um, you are so active with all these organizations. The last time you were here with Pam Bondi, we were talking about the Lazareva family. Yes. And um, this is, you know, an American child whose mom is held uh, over in Dubai. In, uh, in, in Kuwait. In Kuwait. In Kuwait. Um, because the government is alleging that she embezzled all this money. And um, we kind of looked at it from the Christian persecution perspective. Well, it's, it's also, there's a lot of corruption uh, in Kuwait, and it's really, at the end of the day, a human rights case. That's right. It's a religious freedom case and a human rights case. Well, I hope we brought... Um, Marsha's absolutely 100% innocent. It's been proven over and over yeah. again, and we hope to bring home Yvonne and, and his mom, Marsha, very soon back now, to Pennsylvania. I did want to point out to you that uh, after Pam Bondi's appearance on the mm -hmm. show, um, she immediately rocketed to stardom yes. by being yes. hired by the White House Correct. to be part of the impeachment team. So I do want to take a little credit for that. Yes, here absolutely. At, at Liquid Lunch, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, me, you, and Frank talk about you know the main issues facing the country all the time. You're out there in Washington on the streets with all the different Trump organizations trying to build awareness. The sanctuary city thing, coupled with driver's licenses for illegal aliens, is just bizarre to well, me. Well, it is. You know, I'm a, I'm a native Virginian. I grew up in Virginia. It's my home. It's where my family uh, is, where my friends and family pray, go to school, raise their kids, go to work. And I never dreamed in a million years that I would grow up one day and be in a situation where we have um, a governor who wants to take away our most fundamental rights that our forefathers fought for and that today, you know, members of our military are willing to give their lives for. And um, so, yes, you're absolutely correct. I'm hoping the map will pop up that shows the sanctuary cities in, in Virginia now. So uh, basically, you know, I grew up youngest of... <laughs> was yep. that a cue to a yeah, technical yeah, yeah. director? Yeah. Hey, there's yes. the map. <laughs> so what you're looking like, at wow. right now is the um, Commonwealth of Virginia. Everything that's in green, those are nine, that represents 91 counties, 22 towns, and 12 cities. Thousands upon thousands upon thousands of Virginians all across the Commonwealth. This is not a partisan issue. This is about freedom. You know, uh, what you're looking at on that map are the, the thousands upon thousands of Virginians in 91 counties, 21 cities, 22 towns that have all voted for sanctuary for their 2A rights, for our 2A rights in the Commonwealth of Virginia. So that's there, what some, you're looking at. There have been votes and referendum and, and otherwise in all these counties. Like 90% of the people said, no, no, no. That's right. We're, it's not a not in my backyard thing. It's a right. It's a 2A right. Yes. We're voting. We have, you know, we saw this in Brexit. We see this a lot of places. When the people are actually called on to vote on issues, the establishment does not want to do what they say. They want to well, know what's best for us. Well, listen, there's a reason why, you know, our forefathers, the, the Second Amendment only comes after one other amendment, and that is what? Freedom of speech. That's right. So that's how important it was to our forefathers. You know, our, our forefathers, it's our constitutional right to have the ability to bear arms, and they shall not be infringed upon. And that's what we're seeing here in the Commonwealth. I'm so proud of my fellow citizenry in the Commonwealth. Thousands upon thousands upon thousands of Virginians have come out 
out, uh, literally pouring out of courthouses to fight to defend their Second Amendment rights. We have to make sure that in the Commonwealth we put the line in the sand so that we don't see states all across our nation also trying to uh, have these egregious uh, laws that have come through to try and take away our Second Amendment rights. Get it. Frankie, you know, we're, uh, let's, let's bring in the man himself. Mm -hmm. um, because he fights for all kinds of things, like voter right. reform and mm -hmm. voter choice. And Frankie, almost single-handedly, got a ranked choice voting approved well, in New York City. Uh, compare, I mean, with a committee of people, but... Com compared to what Martha's done in terms of victories for property rights, uh, my m efforts are meager in comparison. But, Martha, I do want to ask you a little bit about sanctuary cities. Sure. Uh, we're here in New York, which uh, our mayor has proudly declared as a sanctuary city. Uh, a lot of viewers out in California, where San Francisco has taken sanctuary city status to a whole new level. Back in the 19, early 1990s and late 1980s, we had mayors like Ed Koch and Rudy Giuliani. They would call New York a sanctuary city, but they basically meant it that no illegal alien should be afraid to go to the police and worry about being arrested. Now, most people wouldn't agree with that. Now, these days, the whole idea of sanctuary cities has become not cooperating with any other law enforcement agency. From where you you from what you've observed, and I know you've been literally all over the world and back. Um, how has these sanctuary city statuses for places like San Francisco and New York been working out for the public? Uh, not very well. I mean, as you know, it, it has not it has not worked. And what we're going to see in this case in the Commonwealth of Virginia is, you know, when they come back and, and push back and fight and say, oh no 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 no, you can't have a two A sanctuary city. Then we're then we're going to push back at, hard. And not only are we going to fight for our gun rights, but we're also going to say, if that's the case, then you can't have sanctuary cities for illegal immigrants. It, you can't have them in one case and not in the other. And uh, you know, I grew up in a family where. We were a big 2A family. My father was a lifetime member of the NRA. I'm a lifetime member of the NRA. And uh, we grew up learning how to shoot in a safe manner. And like so many families in the Commonwealth and all across our nation, you know, what we shoot, we feed our family and our community with. I grew up having, you know, fresh local venison. And, uh, you know, I think that it's really a sad day in, in Virginia and all across our nation when thousands upon thousands of voters have to literally take time away from their families to come out and stand for their, for their Second Amendment constitutional well, rights. Well, these people are doing it, Martha. Yes. You know what I mean? And the important thing is getting people to do it. And, uh, you know, it's, it's crazy because, okay, it's a sanctuary city, so we, we, you did something wrong. Um, we're going to just create our own cashless bail system. We're going to release you before the feds get here to throw you out of the country. It's almost, it's almost like a national security threat to say we're not going to, mm -hmm. we're going to actually release criminals. We have in New York now illegal aliens can get driver's licenses. Well, right. How crazy and, is that? Well, no right. idea. They, if I want a driver's license, I got to have my social security card and my passport, one other thing. Establish who I am, right? That's Me, right. American That's right. citizen. That's right. right? And, they can come uh, don't, in with nothing and say, give me a driver's license. Don't I want to be 40. I want brown eyes. Mm -hmm. I want blonde hair. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm That's saying? That's right. Well, listen, if you're an illegal immigrant in this country right now, you have the ability to have health care benefits, uh, you know, as you said, driver's license, and in some cases even vote, uh, where we have veterans that are homeless in our country willing to give up their, their lives to literally die for us that are homeless and don't have benefits and don't get I have two what I think will be very quick final mm -hmm. questions yeah. for you, Martha, and I'm thrilled you're going to stick around for the whole show, yes. right? Uh, one is, why is Virginia, why is Pennsylvania, uh, why is Massachusetts, and Kentucky, why are they commonwealths? Why can't you guys just be a state like the rest of us in the union? <laughs> That's right. So we are commonwealths versus versus states, and uh, you know we. Uh, I love Virginia with all my heart. Despite but why? Are you, why? Yeah. What is a commonwealth? What's well, the difference? Is there a difference? Yeah, it's it's there, there's a distinction. I don't know the the, what the it's exact. Like the difference between like a republic and a country. You know, yeah, what I mean? but, like a yeah. commonwealth of. You know, it's like the. Uh, Soviet Union. All right, I'm gonna, since you're sticking around, I'm going to save my second question for you All a little right, later. Very All good. Right. Very well, good. Martha Mineta is going to be here. When she's in New York, i got to literally beg her to come down here and get <laughs> yeah. as much time as I can with her in the studio. We have a whopper of a show today. Um, we're going to do the uh, Metropolitan Magazine report right after this with Chase Backer, and he brought down a friend today, Carol Alt, who just happens to be the number one first ever cover girl supermodel. She's amazing. Um, and we have Christy Brinkley's uh, Prosecco here. Maybe we'll get her to taste mm -hmm. a sip. You're okay. also, you know, a double supermodel day. <laughs> and it's not even Women Wednesday. It's a Thirsty Thursday on Liquid Lunch. We're coming back right after this with Mike Ghazali. <laughs>